Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general reading for anybody who has Scorpio in their chart. It could be in your moon, your rising, your Venus. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio. They call that cross-watching. Okay. And this could resonate for you as well, even if you're dating a Scorpio, because the energy is fluid and it goes both ways. So depending who you are in this situation, you, this reading could be for you if you're the cross-watcher. My email is in the description box below if you want a personal reading. All right, please spirit guides, let us know what are the most important messages for anybody dealing with a Scorpio or anybody who is a Scorpio watching. Show me what's in their energy. Please, spirit guides, what are the most important messages for Scorpios? All right, six of wands, wonderful. So you guys are um, in the limelight right now. You're successful, you're victorious. Um, you're receiving recognition for your talent. We have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is because you guys have kept and maintained a level of standard for yourself. It could be at work. It could just be personally or even spiritually. There's a glow to you right now. You know, you guys are glowing. You guys have the power to shine. You know, this is if you've been moving right. We have the Queen of Wands. You guys are fiery, passionate, victorious, ambitious. You're following your passions and your desires, and you're going after what you want in life, and you're receiving recognition for it. You're in the limelight. You could be getting attention online, on social media. Positive attention. Eight of Pentacles. You've been working hard. This could be in regards to a work situation. You could be receiving a promotion or a raise. You could be getting accepted into college or school. Have the four of wands. This could be in regards to a love situation, a marriage, a proposal. Some of you are getting engaged. Some of you are meeting your twin flame. Some of you are um, get, getting into contact with your soulmate. Some of you are receiving messages or phone calls from a soulmate from the past. You know, they're messaging you. They're saying, hey, this could be a Pisces, the hangman. I've had a change of perspective here. I've learned something. I've had a revelation. Um, I've realized who you are, the truth of who you are. You know, I had people gossiping, lying to me, telling me, things about you that were negative, bad things. I was listening to them and I was wrong and I'm sorry. You know, I see who you are now. I see your worth. I know that you're a queen. I know that you're an empress, the high priestess. I've been looking within, listening within. My angels and spirit guides have been talking to me, telling me who you are, that you are somebody of value, of truth. You know, I want to come in and apologize. I want to offer my cup of love to you now. This is someone coming in romantically, but they're only at a knight level. You know, we want a king level, right? Page of Swords, I've been watching you from afar. I've been spying on you. I see the attention that you're getting from others, you know, and they could be envious, you know, but you know, it's strange. I just heard that you know, envious may not always be so bad. They might not be, like, out to hurt you or out to get you because they're envious. But they're envious in a way that's like, hey, I want to be like you because I admire you. And how do I follow in your footsteps? Because you're a leader. You know? You're outshining others. Wow, this is powerful. You are finally, Scorpio, getting recognition for your talents, for your gifts. You could have supernatural powers and abilities. Well, of course you do, you're a Scorpio. You know, you're a natural born psychic. You have gifts and talents in the underworld. Um, 
you see things that others can't see. You're in touch with your natural um, God-given abilities that the universe gave, gave you. Seven of Cups. You're going to have many options here. Many abilities. You wear different hats at work. You guys could be the go-to person who's a jack of all trades. They need you. They need your help. You're sought after. People look to you. They ask you questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? You know, you're the go-to person. We have the Four of Swords. You guys are stable. You're clear-headed in your mind. You frequently take time out and breaks to regain your strength and stability. You know how to keep a clear mind. You know how to rise above and stay away from drama. You envi enviably avoid conflict and has others messaging you, um, wondering, how do I get to that level? How do I apologize for what I did to Scorpio? I want Scorpio back, you know? Nine of Wands. People can barely take it anymore. Strength card. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Leo energy. You've had strength and courage to rise above the drama in your life. You've watched others fold on you. And you've been courageous and brave and stayed true to your morals, your values, your beliefs. And you're being gifted from the universe, from the divine, from God. Queen of Swords. Some of you have, you know, had the strength and courage to cut other people out of your life who didn't deserve you, who, you know, you saw that they were moving strange. And you could be dealing with an air sign, so that's Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or these people could have had these signs in their chart. Okay? Wow. Two of Cups. So you're being blessed here with a soulmate someone on your level, someone divine who deserves you. This could be the love of your life, someone that you marry. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. This is a new beginning, a new chapter in love. Some of you are going to meet the love of your life real soon, or someone that you end up with, someone that you marry. Oh, I'll grab that later. It fell. Wow, beautiful beautiful spread for you guys so i hope it resonates um please like this video subscribe if you're new i have my email in the description box if you want to hit me up for a personal reading i would love to hear from you guys so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye